to my channel. I've never introduced a video like that before. That was weird. I'm in a big hurry, big hurry. We're just gonna jump right on into it. I'm gonna do an eyes only tutorial using the new Pat McGrath, uh, what is it? It's the Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey. <laughs> okay, it's her new holiday palette. In comparison to last year's palette, uh, this is a significant upgrade. One, I can tell, like, it's weighted. The other one was just a cardboard box. Um, granted, it is like in the $70 price range. I'll link that down below exactly. Um, last year's, like, all of these, they were just stickers slapped on. Like, I could tell, like mine, I could peel them off. This is a sticker back here, but like up front here is like, it just seemed like such a second thought and it was all repeat shades. And this one, ooh, if I can open it, has a big old mirror in it. I still have the, the film on it. And it has all these beautiful shades in it. I wanna play in the greens, cause I'm wearing green. <laughs> super, super pretty. I do need to tell you like within this palette, you don't get any of the special shades in these palettes of her formula. You only get those in the like $120 palettes. So let's go ahead, jump on in it, and jump on into it. If you guys are new here, I would love if you would join the Allian clan. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell right there and you will be notified every time I upload a video. This is Fall Vibes, season two, episode two. Let's go. And also, really quickly, before we get started, I do have some new skincare favorites to share with you. I know you guys have said that you like when I do this, so I'm gonna continue to do it because I'm a big fan of skincare. I did receive quite a few new items from Clarins. First, I'm gonna talk about the double serum. I've heard about this, I've always seen it. It has a combo of oil and water-based products, and if you look closely, you can see the double compartment there. Clarins is known for using clean products and I am so in love with this double serum. Like every time I use it, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I feel like my skin is in a really good spot right now and I'm just like, I don't wanna mess with my routine and this is where I'm at. So I have been loving these. Of course, Clarins did gift these to me as well. They did send me the Total Eye Serum, which if you have watched me before, you've seen me rave about this already. I'm obsessed with this. I love it and so happy I got another one. I keep it in my mini skincare fridge. I use this in the morning. This is all, like I use this in the morning and I use this in the morning. I've been loving that. And then they also sent me the extra firming energy uh, lotion, moisturizer. Oh my gosh, again, love. My skin just feels so soft, so plump. My makeup applies beautifully on top of it. Another product that I was gifted was by, it's called the Grand Revive Brightening Eye Cream with Wrinkle Defense. I've been pairing this with my Total Eye Serum in the mornings. My eyes look super awake and I've been loving it. It's got a twist off cap here with the brush applicator and you twist it up here. Again, I keep it in my mini skincare fridge. Obsessed, obsessed. And then Clarence also gifted me all of these beautiful, they're the Lip Comfort Oil Shimmers. And I'm gonna show you all the swatches of these. I will insert those now, because I'm gonna film that here in two, or probably tonight, <laughs> since I am in a hurry. Okay, so this is future Allie. <laughs> I just finished like going out with my mom and we are done back with dinner. And I wanted to swatch the Clarins lip oils, the Lip Comfort Oil Shimmers. And I wanted to show you them on bare lips. I might look a little different, but hey, this is what the makeup look turned out like. So they sent me seven colors. I'm gonna start with the first shade, which I was actually like a little nervous about this one. It's called number one sequin flares. Here's 
my bare lips. I hope I don't look like too different because like it's been a couple hours. I was like nervous about this one because it was silver. You can see it just goes on clear and like a really pretty silver glitter. I don't think you see silver shimmers in like a lot of lip products. It's usually like a more golden shimmer. So this is super unique to the market. One that I've actually not really ever seen. And you are gonna see like some leftover shimmer sparkles on my lips between shades here. The next one is a really pretty coral color. Number six pop coral and like so pretty. Obviously it doesn't really go with this eye look, but that is pop coral. This is such a fun color. You can see that silver glitter left behind. Okay, the next one is number six, pretty in pink. And that was number six, pretty pink. The next one is number four, intense pink lady. Now, if I had to say I had a favorite one, I don't know. This might be like the all year round favorite. It's just such a pretty pink. It has like purpley blue shimmer reflex in it. Mm, so pretty. See how much shimmer is on my lips? This is why we're progressively getting darker. <laughs> the next shade is number seven, Red Hot. And that was number seven, Red Hot. Next one is number eight, Burgundy Wine. Kind of like more of a foiled-esque type vibe. That's where the other ones have like glitter shimmers in them. You'll see here in just a second. What's nice about these is you could like really build up the intensity by adding more on. Obviously, I don't feel like it's getting goopy. And see how this one has more like that kind of foil vibe. Pair this with a lip liner or like on top of like a burgundy lip. So pretty. And then the last one is number nine, Funky Raspberry. Now this one, I can't stop using right now. And every time I use it, I get so many compliments. You'll see later on in the video, I wanted to show you my favorite way to wear this but like with this green look i don't know just wasn't a vibe but let me show you now so i'm just gonna take like a kind of burgundy liquid lip it's this nyx where it has the liquid lip and then the gloss but i'm gonna apply this and perfect it with a lip liner Put a gloss on top of it. I mean, I, you could do this with any liquid lid. This is just the one that I have right now. My favorite one's actually done in my purse, but it's been discontinued, so I don't wanna do that to you guys. <laughs> and I'm just taking Funky Raspberry. And I'm putting that right on top. And then you get like the dark vampy lip with a layer of shimmer right on top. I think it's so pretty, especially right now, this time of the year, in the fall, fall vibes. So that's it. We're in talking about the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil Shimmers. I'll let you guys get right back into the tutorial. I did wax and tint my brows today, so they look a little, <gasps> it's cause they are. <laughs> They're fresh. I'm gonna start off real quick with my brows. I've tried other brow like waxes or um, I don't know, what do you call them? Lamination stations. <laughs> and just nothing compares to the Patrick Ta brow wax, in my opinion. It's my holy grail. I've been using a new eye primer. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it because it does not want to focus. It's the Gerard Cosmetics Blank Canvas and I got the, or Clean Canvas and I have the color Fair. And I've been really enjoying this. Could be because I've used the other one so much, my P. Louise, that I'm enjoying having something new. This palette does not have like a cream color base shade in it. So I'm gonna go into my uh, Viseart, Viseart uh, shade number four, Ivory. 
And I'm just gonna set my brow bone and inner corner highlight with this. Now I don't know which is which, but I'm gonna take this light tan shade here. It's the matte shade. I think it's Sun Rose Amber. I'm just gonna take that on my large fluffy brush. I'm gonna take my M504. And I'm just gonna start tapping this in here to the transition shade area. It does have some pink tone into it. Some of these shades I'm using for the first time on camera, so, but it does blend out very nicely. I'm gonna go into Nocturne. It's the dark brown in my M441, because I don't wanna lose it. I'm gonna tap this into the outer V area, or like outer third of the lid, and just blend it in. This is where I have to decide where I want to take this look because I've never done a look with these shades before and I'm excited, but I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna just take an eyeshadow brush. This is the M210. I'm gonna go into this color here. It's kind of like a taupey green called Palladium. And I'm gonna take that and place it right on the inner corner or like the inner third. Her shimmers really are just so beautiful. On the same brush, I am going to go in, I'm gonna go into this dark color called Noir Moon, and it's so pretty. It has like little flecks of like blue and green glitters in it, and I'm gonna start just tapping that onto the outer third, right on top of the dark brown mat that we used. One, to try to avoid like fallout, but two, I want it to be as pigmented and sparkly as possible. Like, cause I feel like if you start buffing away, like I just did right there, you're gonna push away some of those glitter flecks. And I want that, I want those glitter flecks. Okay, I just put Bag of Bones Jones up. If you've been watching me, you know Bag of Bones Jones. Let me show you Bag of Bones. There's Bag of Bones Jones. <laughs> He's out of storage. Anyways, I keep holding my mirror up right here and I keep seeing him behind me and it keeps giving me like a heart attack. Of, oh! <laughs> He's scaring me, apparently. On that same brush, I'm going to go in with Citrine Envy. Mm-hmm, this shade. Looks like so much fun. And I'm gonna take that just right on the center and just drag that up. And I'm gonna blend it into both of those shades that I previously applied. And just blend that nicely together. Oh my gosh. I want to take just a touch of the lightest shimmer in the palette called Galactic Glow. Again, on that same brush, I'm cleaning it off between each tap and just right on the center. I don't even know if it's gonna do anything. I just wanna like give it an extra right in the center. Okay. I'm going to quickly apply some black wing liner because my phone's ringing and I will apply the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So, finished the rest of my face and I went ahead and I applied my lashes. These are the Ardell 3D Foam Mink in the style 858. <laughs> and we're gonna finish up our lower lash line. I'm gonna take my, let's see, it's a JH38 pencil brush. I used it with these colors already and I cleaned it off. Anyways, I'm gonna take Sunrose Amber and then just a touch of Nocturne. And I'm starting with Sunrose Amber and kind of just tapping it on at first. I was watching somebody else's like tips video where they said they tap their lower lash like eyeshadow in because that prevents it from like fluffing up into their eyes. And I've been having problems not like consistently with certain products and certain brands. I have this problem, but the eyeshadow like sticks to my contacts. So that's been helping a lot, FYI. And then for fun, I'm gonna take just a tap of the Citrine Citrine Envy and that same eyeshadow brush that I used earlier and just tap just a teeny tiny bit right there at the center of the lower lash line. I just want to play that up and I love that look that it gives it around the edges a little tiny bit. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray. I can never remember remember the full name. See, there's Bag of Bones Jones hanging out back there, giving me mild heart attacks. I put him there, I should know. I'm gonna apply my lower lash mascara. I was gonna do like a berry lip with this look, 
But the more that I look at it, the more I'm like, I need a nude lip. I'm just gonna go in with my favorite lip combo of the Dosa Colors Velvet Mousse and Lip Liner in the color Stone with Wedding Day from Lawless on the center of the lip. This undertone just really complements green looks. Okay, you guys, so that is it using the new Pat McGrath Holiday Palette, this, the Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey Palette. I think it's so beautiful, so fun. I'm never disappointed in Pat McGrath's formula. It blends perfectly, it never looks splotchy. The shimmers are just they're not her special shades, like I said, but her shimmers are still stunning and they last throughout the day. I don't feel like I look at my eyes later on and I'm like, hey, where'd my eyeshadow go? I just, I'm super impressed. I love her formula and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big ol' thumbs up. Leave any comments, requests, questions, anything down below. I'd love to talk to you guys. Hit the notification bell right there. Subscribe, join the Ali Ann clan, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.